Well, with the start of school happening throughout St. Clair County this week, and especially next week after Labor Day, we thought we'd better get some tips and suggestions to help make this school year get off to a safe start. And to help us with it, my special guest author this week from Marysville Public Schools is the District Safety and Security Specialist, Tom Cowie. And Tom, your district and Port Huron are probably the two largest districts that have most, most students who are walkers to school each and every day. What kind of concern does that create for you, and what should these kids be uh, be thinking about as they start heading back to class? Well, the concerns that we have is just to make sure that they get to and from school safely in a safe manner, that they're consciously aware. Uh, we like to remind our parents that to go over a plan with their children uh, as to the route to and from school. Uh, if they have a disruption to or from, what, how are they going to react or where are they going to go? Um, the communication piece with if they're going to ride with someone else or if they do get a ride. Uh, everybody has a cell phone now, most kids, um, so they can use that to contact their parents to keep that communication level open so that they, parents as well as the, their children know exactly what they're doing. Now I know in, for your district we got a, a few days left before the start of school. Do you suggest that the parents maybe even take some time and just walk to the kids uh, to and from school before classes start just so they have an idea where to go, what to do, you know, some of the rules to follow? Well, I think it's a good thing to do as a parent, but age appropriate, right? Mm -hmm. uh, elementary school kids may need that two or three or four or five times to walk or to at least show them drive the route and then go over the, the stuff. Where can you go for a safe place in the event you're not feeling safe either to or from? And my guess is, too, make sure you cross at the corner, not cross the middle of the block, and especially as you get closer to the school building. Cross at crosswalks and also be conscious and be aware of the drivers. Don't just look at the light up there when it turns green and automatically walk across. Make sure you have eye contact with the drivers so they know you're there so you can cross safely. Back with more tomorrow. For Dateline Schools, I'm Terry Harrington.